Yo, what's going on, sexy sale on Discord? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1, and I'm playing Kronos, but here's the reason why. Because I want to showcase what hunters and magical ADCs can do with dual orb. Yes, I played I played the uh, dual for six hours straight yesterday, and it was on stream, and dual orb didn't make too much of an impact. It, it really didn't. Like I was expecting it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was expecting it to have a much bigger impact than what it actually had. Unfortunately, it really didn't show itself too much. But here's my issue. I think it didn't show itself too much because one, I never played a hunter. Like in my whole six hours yesterday, I played like one or two hunters and I was never in a winning position until I won the game. Right. So like, you know. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, and two... Two, I never really built for auto attacks to the highest extent. Hold on. I'm sneezing. But I never really built auto attacks to the, the most that I could do. So I was wondering if people utilized it well and people knew what to expect when getting said items, aka dual orb, what if everything changed? What if like, what if it was like when the Fire Nation attacked, you know? <clears throat> because I, I think that dual orb will be broke on. Uh, broke on. My nose is a little sniffly, that's my bad. Uh, you decease here, I think. Ah, uh, we get a shell. You might not decease. You might not decease there. Good shell. But I wanted, I wanted to just show you guys, like, the amount of pressure that you have. Not necessarily just because of, like, Kronos or Soul or Oleron or Ahoy or Zanami or, like, any hunter. But specifically with dual orb like i do a little bit of damage to the tower here don't get it twisted i'm i'm doing a little bit of damage but if i kill him his tower's done actually actually and completely unironically his tower is done i have to be a little careful because if he tosses me in here then he kills me and that would be all he ironic not really ironic more like iconic because i never die on chronos so him killing me would be be an iconic play i do want this red buff i also want to back and get uh get my bancrofts he's playing pretty safe to be honest not really safe not like to the point where i don't think i can kill him but it might take a few minutes for me to get that opportunity. But I think once I get one kill, I think I get his Phoenix. Like, I get his tower and his Phoenix. If his tower is still even alive. Alright, I'm running to the red buff because I would really, really love it. Let's add a bit please, please, please. Nice. Drop the back line. My nose is runny dunny. Uh, what does Max Finger 2 do? Just attack speed? Okay. Oh, there it is. I don't even have my two up, by the way. All right, tower down. I got one kill and I win the tower. He's alting. I'm hiding. Okay, I got scared, so I ulted. Sorry. Oh, that did a lot, dude. My one? Yikes. Yikes. All right. Let me uh, wipe my nose a little bit. By the way, I, I literally don't expect this video to be over 10 minutes. And in case you don't know, on YouTube, if a video is not over... Actually, I think it's eight minutes now. Then it can't be monetized. 
So I expect to make no money from this video. I just wanted to showcase exactly how freaking busted that dual orb is when used correctly. When used by an aggressive player on a god that can utilize it. Because this guy's like, he's he's playing Omega defensive. Very, very, very defensive. And I don't even know if he's going to be able to stop me from winning this game before the 10 minute mark. Like, I think now I just go to Bull Demon. Because if he shows up at Bull Demon, I kill him, take Dual Orb, and win that way, right? Now, he could ult Bull Demon. If he does that, then he is better than me. Which would be unfortunate, but also not too surprising. All right, Bull Demon taken. Just going to grab this for a little bit of pen. Because I assume he's going to go defense, and he is going defense. I'll stop by, grab red, take Phoenix. And then... Um, the real issue here is that Titan. Okay, you're alting. The only way you get, the only way you live through this is if you alt past me. Exactly. Exactly the correct play. Unfortunately, it doesn't save your Phoenix, but it was the correct play. See, this is going to be the hard part. This big old thing. I got my regen on. Um, am I actually scared of you? Because it doesn't seem like I should be. Oh, okay. He's better than me in 18 languages. <clears throat> That shoguns. That that tanky thing. Um let's play something that's just an immediate power spike. Actually, you know what I could do? Is I could go tier two this, 65 power, and a five hundred pot. That's probably the most immediate power spike I can grab here. Yeah, that's definitely the most immediate power spike I can grab here. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> but I got the Phoenix down at what I believe like the five minute mark or something like that. And it's just because I mean, obviously, Dual Orb took the tower. And then the threat of dying and losing or the threat of dying and dropping a dual dual orb i keep wanting to call it doom orb so the threat of dying and dropping a dual orb made him lose his phoenix if he ults me i just ult here i am not scared all right gg Literally exactly as expected. Not even an eight minute game. Um, because Kronos has pressure. I would like to think I'm a decent player. And I'm able to utilize dual orb and that pressure that dual orb gives me in order to get everything on the map and then push into his Titan. And yeah, I just wanted to I wanted to utilize or show you guys what dual orb meant in duel. Any hunter, any auto attack mage. Anyone that builds poly and like, anyone in duel can win a game in eight minutes now. Anyone because of dual orb. So for those saying it's not a big change, it doesn't feel like it yet because nobody's utilizing it. But just you wait. <laughs>
That's my warning. Just you wait.